Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all doing well, and thank you for joining me. We're going to be starting Part B of our 2009 Fermat Contest, and so each question now is going to be worth six points if we get them right. Suppose M and N are positive integers with M less than N, then the value of M plus 3 over N plus 3 will be... Hmm. All right. So we've got certain options, you know, equal to 3 or equal to 1. I'm going to say these are out right away, because I can think of M's and N's where this isn't true. You know, positive, what if M is 1 and N is 50? For example, I'll get 53 over 4, neither one is equal to A or B. So anyway, we can get rid of those. Now these other three here, less than the value of M over N, greater than the value of M over N, equal to the value of, over, of M over N. Well, again, a, a sort of a quick just pick of numbers that satisfy uh, the conditions, M being it's M being greater than N. Oh, do I have... I calculated that wrong. It should be 4 over 53, but still, uh, it's uh, not equal to 1 over 3. All right, so I'll pick... Uh, what is it? It's N. N is the bigger one, so we'll make M1 and N50. And so they're asking me to compare to M over N, and N plus 3 over N plus 3. Now, I do have uh, two numbers that satisfy their conditions, so as long as I just make my comparison here, I should get the, the same result that they're looking for. So 1 over 50, and then 4 over 53... What is the relationship between those? And I would say it's not that hard to see that 1 over 50 is less than 1 over 53. Of course, if we need to, we can get a calculator out. Uh, you know. um, but the numbers are just, they're so close uh, that it's, it's almost like 1 over 50 and 4 over 50. The, the 50. the 3 in the bottom is not doing a whole lot to us. So it's not that hard to see that this is going to be greater than. And this is actually true in general. If I've got sort of a C over D and I add a nice little constant to the top and the bottom, it's going to be less than. For example, if I start with one half, that's going to be less than two thirds, adding one to the top and bottom, which is going to be less than three quarters and less than things like that. It's an interesting little pattern to notice. Uh, we want greater than the value of M over N. And that's an answer of D. It's a fun little thing to play around with. Okay, and if you're, you know, interested in this sort of a thing, try and instead tweak it a little bit. So in the question they gave us M and N were positive. What if M is negative and N is positive? Does anything special happen there? And you're going to have some special cases, but I'll leave that to those of you who are interested, and I'm going to move on to question number 12. So join me for that in the next video.